How's it going guys? Welcome back to the lair and today I have a Boros themed uh, historic deck. This deck can easily be made into a standard deck. Um, I'll explain that later on, but uh, I call this one Sun Crown Merriment. And uh, let's get into the uh, the card selection and then I'll talk about the, the general strategy with the deck. Uh, so on the one drop we have four copies of Legion's Landing for a one planes. When Legion Landing enters the battlefield, you create a 1-1 one, one white vampire creature token with lifelink, and then when you attack with three or more creature token, three or more creatures transform Legion's Landing, and it becomes a legendary land that we can tap for one. And then we can also create a 1-1 one, one white vampire creature token with lifelink for three and tapping it. <clears throat> so it helps us ramp a little bit. Uh, counts as a creature. Um, we can always double cast it later if we need an extra body or... Uh, get an extra devotion with the Legion landing itself. Uh, moving on to our two drops. I have four copies of Daxos, Blessed by the Sun, two planes, two zero. Daxos' toughness is equal to your devotion to white, and whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, you gain one life. Got four copies of Sky Knight Vanguard for one mountain and one planes, one two flying. Whenever Sky Knight Vanguard attacks, create a one one white soldier creature token that's tap and attacking. Then we have onto the three drops. We have uh, four copies of Heliod Sun Crown, two colorless, one planes, five five indestructible. As long as your devotion to white is less than five, Heliod isn't a creature. And whenever you gain life, you put a one one counter on target creature or enchantment you control. And then we can pay one colorless and one planes, and another target creature gains lifelink until the end of the turn. And then four copies of Linden, the Steadfast Queen, for three planes, three three vigilance, and says whenever a white creature you control attacks, you gain one life, um, and all of our creatures in the deck are white, at least partly white. Um, so that, that gives us 100% efficiency with that card. On to the four drops, this is where things get a little spicy. Uh, I've got four copies of Leonin Warleader for two colorless and two planes, four four. Whenever Leon and Warleader attacks, we create two 1-1 one, one white cat creature tokens with lifelink that are tapped and attacking. So if we have a Daxos on the field, uh, a Linden and a Heliod, it gets kind of silly. Uh, but I'll go over that in just a second. And we have three copies of Aurelia, Exemplar of Justice for two colorless, one mountain, and one plains. 2-5 Flying Mentor. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose up to one target creature you control. Until the end of turn, that creature gets plus 2, plus 0, gains Trample if it's red, and gains Vigilance if it's white. So, we have uh, some creatures that are red and white, and we'll get into that in just a second. Three copies of Hactos, the Unscarred. Uh, this card I'm not so sold on just yet. Um, I needed something that was intimidating that I could fit in the four a slot, four drop slot. I could easily see myself putting some other, like maybe Tachik or some more uh, low end card draw. Um, but for right now, I'm running three copies uh, for two mountain, two planes, six one Hakdos the Unscarred attacks each combat if able. As Hakdos enters the battlefield, choose two, three, or four at random, and Hakdos has protection from each converted mana cost other than the chosen number. And then we have three copies of Outlaw's Merriment, one colorless, one mountain, two planes. At the beginning of your upkeep, you choose one at random, create a red-white creature token with these characteristics. 3-1 Human Warrior with Trample and Haste, a 2-1 Human Cleric with Lifelink and Haste, a 1-2 Human Rogue with Haste, and when this creature enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to any target. So these creatures are both red and white, so that activates a Linden, that activates... Um, Daxos, uh, and consistently giving us counters on the board against control, which is really good. On to the five drop. I have three copies of Elspeth Conquers Death for three colorless and two planes. Yeah, Saga, the first part says it. Exile target permanent and opponent controls with converted mana cost three or greater. Second part of the saga says non creature spells your opponent's cast cost two more to cast until your next turn. And then the third part of the saga says, return target creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Put a 1-1 one, one counter or a loyalty counter on it. And then one copy of the Immortal Sun for six colorless. 
Uh, players can't activate Planeswalker loyalty abilities, uh, which is great for us because we don't have any. At the beginning of your draw step, you draw an additional card. Spells you cast cost one less to cast, and creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So it does pretty much everything. Um, so the general idea is uh, we want to be producing tokens. Uh, we want to have a Daxos on the, on the board, a Heliod, a Linden, and then everything else kind of synergizes around that. Uh, we make tokens which activate Daxos, uh, and they're attacking, which helps us activate Linden's ability. Um, if we have Heliod live, then of course we just have another body that's indestructible, which is amazing. Um, as I said earlier, the uh, Legion's Landing counts as a 1-1 with lifelink, and then we get the added ability of it uh, transforming if we're attacking with three or more creatures, which, which happens quite often. Leonin Warleader is another token generator. Uh, hopefully by then, by the time we're playing this, we have a Daxos, a Heliod, and a Linden. So when he comes into the board, it's just added ridiculousness, and both those tokens are tapped attacking, gaining life, bouncing with Linden. You see it kind of gets kind of crazy. Aurelia is our, our uh, late game drop to help us mentor our smaller creatures on the board and also gives a temporary buff at the beginning of combat on our turn. Hakdos is just completely busted at times. Um, Outlaw's Merriment is going to help us stay alive against control decks. Uh, getting a count on a, a creature token and we can easily overwhelm the opponent if they don't have a board wipe. Uh, Elspeth helps us recur our threats and then Immortal Sun like I said does a little bit of everything. <clears throat> so let's get into the lands. I am running two Castle Ardenvale, six plains, one Castle Embereth, two mountains, four clifftop retreats, four sacred foundries, and four temple of triumphs. My converter mana cost is 3.2, 26 creatures, and I'm running 23 lands. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop into some games and see how we do. A two lander here. I've got uh, Legion's Landing into a Daxos into a Sky Knight Vanguard. Uh, two Leon and War Leaders. Uh, not too thrilled about the two lander. Um, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Place a forest. That does nothing. Uh, play cliff top retreat. Play Daxos. I'm attacking in. See if he wants to trade with the long war. Rabid bite.
I don't really want to shock in here. So I'm gonna just play this guy right here. Elspeth's nice, but we can't. I think I don't attack here. So, as we can see, opponent's curve is quite low. Harness the elements. So we kind of got the shit draw there. The land shall conquer you. I think he's got us just just on outnumbering us on attackers. Yeah, I think he's got me. Freelander, Allegiance, Elspeth, Sky Knight, Vanguard, and Hactos. Looks great. We'll keep it. Commune with dinosaurs. Uh oh. Don't know if we can outpace the gun dinos. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and 
Agent's landing. Okay, we don't have any other place here, so I think I just save her boundary in. Um, this should activate legions because we are attacking with three. to attack him. how this card works. I feel like this needle tooth could be a problem in else right now. And unfortunately, Hackdose has to attack each turn of Fable.
pretty fucked there. Um, I guess I'm just having bad luck. Maybe cut one Elspeth. No. Let's try that. All right, I got another two lander. Legion's landing. Uh, oh, I'll keep it. Start off with my Legion's landing here. Uh, next turn, Daxo. I think we can run our opponent over before he gets into the He's ramping, but um... Basically just trying to distribute the, uh, the counters evenly. Uh, opponent could have uh, settled the wreckage, could be playing some fire convention. Okay, that's not good. Shall I? Okay, I'll with that. Um, now the deck's kind of performing how it should. Um, yeah, I think I do Aurelia here. Let's put a counter on you because I want you to be able to check in. She's red and white, so she'll give you the benefit of both. And we go with everything. Give her an extra turn. I don't want her to die. I feel pretty good about this. That's uh, two and one right now with this. All right, got ourselves some rewards. Kenrith's transformation. Pop into another one.
one of his famous decks. Alright. Got a three lander here. I've got a Legion's Landing. Kind of a slow with a mana base, but... I don't know if I can complain too much here. Should I mulligan? Mm, yeah, I think we mulligan here. This is a little bit better. Um... I think out of these, I prefer the Outlaw's Merriment to the, the Hakdos anyways, because I don't have two red sources. So we keep this. I'm going to drop the Hakdos. We'll lead off with our Temple. Heliod is excellent. Uh, Yeah, I guess, I guess we take it. I guess we take it. Just want to be able to curve out. Thought erasure, that hurts. I'm assuming Heliod here. Oh, Sky, Sky Knight, okay. Okay, so that tells me the opponent maybe has a Ritual of Soot. Um, here I'm going to just go ahead and play out the... Castle. Uh, next turn, I'd like to get the Heliod on the board. Okay, Grixis. Uh, the Thought Erasure. It's great. Okay. Outlaws Merriman, I'm assuming. No, really. Okay. Daxos is nice. Um, yeah, I think I play Daxos first. Next turn, if I get a chance to, the opponent doesn't have a third thought erasure. I'd like to, uh, or agonizing remorse. I'd like to get the outlaws merriment. Okay. Go ahead and play that first. Does the opponent also have counter spells? And then we go in with Daxos. Possibility, okay, opponents out of cards. We are playing historic though, so here be monsters. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> okay. I know the devil does artifacts. Um, ah, uh, sure, yeah. how I picture the deck flowing. Let's see if we can do it again. Alright, we got a three lander here, got some Sky Knights. Linden, this looks fantastic. We're gonna keep this. I'm gonna start off with the temple since we don't have a one drop. Never mind. Um, opponents on mono red though, so maybe we maybe we can just wait one turn. Elspeth, I think this will come in handy. 
Yeah, keep that. Opponent Carlos Chavez. It's gonna be red. We might be okay here. I don't wanna shock. I will be playing Legion. I'll probably die immediately, but that's okay. Our next turn will be Sky Knight. Then Steadfast. off on Linden just yet because she's going to be our life gain. Do I want another Aurelia? Mm. Like, mm. I mean, yeah, that way I can just go ahead and play her and not be afraid. I'll play out a Sky Knight here. Now, depending on what the opponent does, I will probably play Aurelia since I know I have a backup coming. Take it out on my creatures, then my, my face. Alright. He does have a castle Ember, though. That's kind of scary. Rock. Okay. Getting the here. Okay. Put Aurelia here. Would love to see a land. I'll be Elspething the, the Goblin uh, Chain Whirler for sure. Opponent could also have an Ember Cleave in hand. I do not mind blocking whatever the biggest threat is. Definitely don't. Another Grimrock. Oh no, I'm just playing the creature side of Grimrock. Okay, could see an Ember Cleave. Come at me. I'm just getting very unlucky. Um, yeah, I think, uh, let's see, let's look at white creatures. Something that possibly has lifelink. Could be potential. I think I'm gonna just take out Immortal Sun. I've never seen it. Um, Elspeth, same. I think we just. I think we need to just focus on our aggro. That gives me three slots. Um, I like the Nyx Fleece Ram. That's nice. Getting a potential of one makes a great blocker. Do I like him better or do I like Adanto? Both only give me one loyalty.
can be pretty nasty if we already have. Let's try. Let's try the, the Nyx Fleece Ram as an early chumper. Um. Cut that down to three. Let's try this out. See how we'll, see how we do with this. Daxos Heliod Linden. Holy shit. Beautiful. Uh, we don't only really have one white source, but we'll draw another white. there I saw the the deck set. Opponent's screen white light game. There's a second white source, that's nice. Play Daxos first. source here. That's it. I can't cast it. I don't need any more land now. Okay, really. mm. Next turn we can start going off with Linden. It's gonna get pretty nasty here with this. Uh, Definitely don't mind double blocking the Leonin when he comes in, that's fine with me. Um, and I'm 
Johnny's welcome. Okay. Take care of that problem. is we want to leave uh, Heliod available for uh Okay. So here's what we want to do. I want to start pumping Aurelia. Right? Next. I'm going to select Aurelia. Just going in with Aurelia. She should have vigilance, yep. So I go in with just her. Um, I do this again. I'm gonna give her life link. Okay. Um, hopefully the opponent doesn't have any uh, type of. Um, prison enchantment spells. is nice. This is another target that we can chump block. Um, need to leave him open for him. Going in with Aurelia. Put another counter. I'm gonna give her life link. Face. Okay. Um. I think we just keep pushing her, I think, honestly. Opponent is playing enchantment, so we could see a. Uh, Still doesn't seem to understand how that works. Uh, okay. I block with you. Block. This time. Oh no, I can't give him life link. He was blocked. Okay. That's Fantastic for us. Absolutely. Fantastic. 
gonna keep stacking on Aurelia. That's so awesome, it's like it even he even has protection from some of your own creatures' abilities. It's awesome. with the Johnny's Pride Mate. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep stacking Aurelia. Yeah. Just gonna keep stacking her. Because the opponent's not really doing anything, he's just spinning his wheels. If he comes in, I chump block with Aurelia, and I'm gonna give Aurelia and some of my other blockers um, lifelink. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. has to do something to the Aurelia.
time it is. the most absurd game I've ever played in my life. This is just absolutely, absolutely retarded. Yep, just you. Back. You, yep. Do some life like here, yep.
Alright, so... Very fun deck to play. Um, I guess I need to be doing some tweaking. I think I'm... I think that was three and two. Um, I, I know I did get a little unlucky there, but... Um, it's The spread seems good. Maybe I need a little bit more flyers. Or maybe I need to change Legion's Landing. But uh, I'll definitely be working on it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.